kids miss kulkarni here in this video let's find out more exciting things about atomic theory and atomic structure but before we go into more detail our first job is to find the key components of an atom what are those and how do we find out the number of components in an atom now it is not just the work of one scientist as you know many many scientists actually physicists they worked so hard to come up with today's atomic model some of the examples of scientists is dalton thomson rutherford bohr and also chadwick so what did we conclude with all that that every atom has three basic subatomic particles and what are those those are protons electrons and neutrons and each one of this particle has completely different different properties okay before we go further let's sum it up each atom will be consisting of clearly two different parts one is nucleus which will be centrally placed and what does it contain it will contain protons and neutrons and where are those electrons electrons will be surrounding the nucleus and they will be constantly in motion let's find out more information about each of the subatomic particle the first one is a proton a proton has positive charge where is it located it is in the nucleus and which is in the center of an atom what about mass the mass is much more than the mass of electron it's almost 1837 times heavier than an electron but wait a second we have not yet talked about the mass of an electron how do we represent that we indicate that as p plus positive sign indicates it's a positive charge then let's move on to electron electron has negative charge and it is not in nucleus but it is somewhere around the nucleus the mass is almost almost negligible because it is 1 over 1837 mass of a proton and the charge is of course negative so how do we represent that we represent that as e with negative sign negative sign indicates the negative charge and now finally let's talk about neutron a neutron is neutral and it's located in the nucleus and of course the mass of proton and mass of neutron is almost equal how do we represent that with n zero the zero exponent indicates the charge is zero now let's summarize all the information about the subatomic particles in this table so we have proton electron and neutron as our three subatomic particles where is the location position for each one of those protons are in nucleus and so are neutrons and what about electrons they are around nucleus constantly moving what is the approximate mass we consider mass of proton as equal to 1 amu and the mass of neutron is also almost same so it's 1 amu and mass of electron is so small it is 1 over 1837 mass of a proton which is almost equal to 0 so we don't count the mass of electron when we think about the atomic mass and what about the charge the charge on proton is positive electron charge is negative and neutron is no charge now just to remind you an atom might have proton and electron which are positive and negatively charged particles but an atom 
is electrically completely neutral. How does that happen? We have number of protons equals number of electrons in an atom. Now, what is an atomic number and atomic mass number? Atomic number is simply the number of protons which are found in the atom. And actually, if you look on periodic table, atomic number is the one which will define the element from the other. So atomic number 5, that means it will have 5 protons. Atomic number 10 will have 10 protons and so on. What is the atomic mass number? This is simply the total of protons and neutrons. Because remember, the mass of electron is almost 0 and we consider that as negligible mass. Now let's look at this problem. We have to find out how many neutrons are present in uranium-235. Whenever there is a number associated with an element, that number indicates this is the mass number for that element. And remember, the atomic mass which is shown on periodic table is different than the mass number. That is the average mass of all the isotopes and atomic mass number is the sum total of neutrons and protons. Now before we move on to uranium-235, let's locate uranium. And in all this table, we find uranium right there. If you look carefully, there is number 92. That number is the atomic number for uranium. And then the atomic mass number is given to us as 235. So let's see how we are going to find out the number of neutrons in uranium-235. Uranium has the atomic number 92 because that's what we have in periodic table. And atomic mass number is 235. Now remember atomic number is equal to protons. That means protons are also 92. And atomic mass number is P plus N, which is equal to 235. So since we know that protons is 92, can we plug that value in second equation? Of course we can. So it's 92 plus N is equal to 235. When we rearrange that, and try to solve, we get n is equal to 235 minus 92, which comes out to be 143. So there it is, we got number of neutrons as 143. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you again in next video. Until then, bye-bye.